Heyo everybody, I'm a Nick and welcome back to Paper Mario. On the last episode, we kicked some uh, Koopa ass and on today's episode, we're actually gonna be going down to the sewers for a moment, but first, let's go talk to this thing right here. Puff, well, hello there. My name is Bubble. I come from Flower Fields, the wonderful land of flowers. I'd love to spread the wondrous flowers of Flower Fields all over your land. You like flowers, don't you? Of course you do. Who doesn't? For that reason, I'll entrust this to your care. Uh, so this doesn't do anything now, but you're gonna need them for, for later. And he's just like, take care of it. It's very fragile. Which I will, in my key item pocket. And to simply access the sewers, here's a pipe. Let's go down a pipe. Because this is a Mario game, we like dank stuff. We can't do anything about these two objects yet, so we kind of have to go over this way. We can, however, bash that block. Oh, hey, some rank looking Goombas. Can I first strike you, please? Thank you very much. Now if you can tattle these, uh, Gloombas. They're nasty Goombas who live in the Toad Town Tunnels. They got seven hit points and two attack power. These are significantly more dangerous than uh, regular Goombas, I'll tell you that much. And so, uh, just a style on your ass. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, there we go. That's a good kill. However, because these are stronger enemies, that just means we can just, you know, womp your ass big time. And when there's only one of you here, then you're significantly easier to deal with. And I have self-healing this time around. Also items. So he's just gonna hit me in the face, which is not appreciated. And there's also gonna be winged and spiked variants of these in the sewers, if you couldn't guess. Cause that's just how alternate versions work. But I thank you for your star points very much. In fact, I'm close to a level up. God damn. Speaking of which, there's one right in there. The cheeky asshole. This is a coin block. I accept these. Uh, I can't remember if there's... Oh, here's the secret. It's just super shroom. I will like that. However, I want to free this guy, so, uh, this way. Come here. There we go. Whack him in the face. So, we gotta tattle these guys. This is a spiked Goomba. They're spiked Goombas who live in the Toad Town Tunnels. And they got three attack power with that thing. Yeah, they are going to hurt a lot. Don't really have anything for you guys other than uh, we're gonna change to Bombette, actually. Cause I wanna show her off. Oh, that's gonna be fucking painful. Ow. I wanna show off bombing. Just button mash and she does like five damage. So uh, if you can use her in the field, she's gonna do a ton of damage for you. It's amazing. Hammer whack you to death. Hey, can you not? Very much appreciated. And I'm not too worried about my AFP numbers right now. Because I just want him dead. And I'm glad I can still mash fast enough to do that. Oh, toasty, toasty star points. And a sleep sheep. That's neat. Now it's time to use one of those fried shrooms I made. One other thing is uh, I want to use the regular ass honey syrup. There we go. I like these totals. I'm going to want these for a little... Oh, all up. This is the section I need to put Gumbario back in the party for because... Uh, blooper! Surprise, bitch! 
you get an extra little mini boss down here. So how about we go tattle on him? This is a blooper. Bloopers lurk in the dank pools of Toad Town tunnels. They have 30 hit points, three attack power, and no defense power. They seem pretty unremarkable. Although, you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. A question of the ages, Goombario. A question of the ages. And currently, I have no other party members other than you who can hit him, so, uh... This sort of spamming uh, power bands will uh, speed things up. Also, he one of his attacks is an ink move. He can also drop on you. That's kind of annoying. So just spamming a bunch of power bounces, seeing how far you can go before the attack decides to cap on you, because that's a mechanic. And chip damage is always good. Here's the attack where he drops on you. That can be blocked pretty easily. Simply a case of power bouncing him. Or you could decide to throw your hammer at him and charge it up. That's also pretty useful to do. There's also a jump charge. There's also a jump charge badge, which is really useful. Oh, I didn't block that one. Get a funny little animation out of it. I can say that much. Uh, this is why we're packing. This is why we packing. I don't have my little protection badge up, so... Hey, can you not? Really, rather you didn't. But I'm okay. Oh, the one hit point, what a dick. But it's nothing we couldn't handle. Oh, baby, level up. I love it. Here we go! More badge points! And we get that sucker out of here. And our reward for doing such a thing is the Shrink Stomp Badge. That can decrease the attack power of an enemy. Uh, but right now... Uh, I think this is only useful if you if the enemy has defense in the first place. I can't remember. But we're gonna try it out anyway, and we're gonna re-equip power jump because why not? It uses a little less FP. So I think we can manage. Anyway, that's all we could do for now in the sewers. There's gonna be much more to this place later. But how about we go out the pipe? Yeah, that'd be pretty good, see? And that sleepy sheep that I have in my inventory, I am going to save that for a bit later. So for now, we're going to go to a shop over here and stow that away. We can't really do too much in this place right now. I want to check in the sleepy sheep. Everything else I am fine with holding on to. These Thunder Rages here are super useful. They can pretty much take out any enemy you can uh, come across so far. I don't think there was anything useful in this tree, so... Nah. And this house has a bunch of toads in it, so... If you want to talk and uh, get some more flavor out of stuff, it'll be useful for you. Out of this way... We got some handy old docks, including a little place called Club 64. You never have to come in here, but it's a mighty fine place to be. Toads even have their own little coastal bar. Kind of nice. Kind of fancy. Well, I could put a bit more money into it, but... Who am I really to complain? And you can actually go over this way. You can actually jump over this. Jump up here. There's even a random ass coin block for you. Come on, Mario, you can do it. Don't have enough money for what I would really like to do, which I don't even know what I'm doing. I just want to hoard coins. But that's enough of this part of a uh, Toad Town for now. We'll be going back here. Don't you worry. Everything's all interconnected. There's a bunch of Toad Kids over here. Not too much to see. 
Anyway, where we need to go is to the southernmost part of Toad Town. So how about we do that? And I believe you, you just get a, a shroom fry uh, if you cook the super shrooms. There's not much point to do it right now. There's this pipe here if you hit this tree, but we don't want to go down there just yet. And over here is a special little uh, pig farm, which basically is, uh, he'll explain. I love little oinks, love them. You, you want to learn about them? Sure, why not? Little oinks are timid and mysterious creatures that hatch from eggs. They spook easily and will run away if you approach them. Observe them from out here. There are many breeds of little oinks. They're very easy to tell apart. White ones, black ones, even gold and silver ones. If you're curious about the breed of a newborn little oink, come over to talk to me. Where's the world full of little oinks? That would be grand. So basically, uh, you pay 10 coins and there'll be an egg here. You hammer whack the egg and the little oink will hatch. You go in the pen, all the little oinks will run away. And whenever you start replacing little oinks, they can drop items and there's very good stuff you can get if you uh, make the right kind of little oink go away. Anywho, our main problem here today, there's a rock in front of the train. How about we go and fix that problem? Oh, thank you, Mario. The train's back on track. All aboard. This train is bound for Mount Rugged. Are you coming, Mario? Oh, yes, I will. The train's about to depart. Please board quickly. Can do. Hurry up, Bombette. We got places to be. Sit tight, folks. Now departing for Mount Rugged. One of the few times the text actually centers like that. I'll definitely say. Bombetta, what are you doing down there? Hey, I like the breeze, man. I don't want to stay lit all the time. And I think this scene may actually be masking loading. I don't know. Maybe it's just a cute scene. There's not really much loading in this game anyway. But you know what? It's cute. It's also skippable if you want. Which means it's not actually loading. Oh, we're already there. And on to chapter two, the mystery of dry, dry ruins. Like my dry, dry throat. But that's why I have water next to me. Convenient, eh? Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged. Passengers heading for Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Outpost should proceed directly over Mount Rugged from this station. I will do that. One of the first things we need to examine is not this bush, but this one. There's a fresh egg in here. You can cook that and it will be delicious. So let's keep that in the inventory for now. What do you gotta say? I saw a creature called a Wacka on Mount Rugged. It was extra cute. Oh boy, well I have something to talk about those guys. Oh hey, it's another one of those blocks I can't hit right now. That would be a shame. I can't break it right now. Oh hey, it's a healing. I already leveled up though, so that's of no matter to me. See, what would happen if I kept Mario in the party? Ah no, confound it. Where could it be? Oh, sorry folks, very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why you are, you're THE Mario. Hello there. The name's Paracare, you had to deliver letters. Um, I'm normally a letter perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with the lost letter. Wouldn't you know it, I dropped it on Mount Rugged and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, all right? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. And the hunt for the letters are on! And I think that'll actually be just about enough for today. So, 
On today's episode of uh, Paper Mario, we whacked a blooper and met a postman. We're gonna search for his letters. So with that, I'm a Nick, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>